now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Let us pray, Father in heaven, and let us raise you up to heart. Don't do me as I try to study. The devil been fighting me all week, Lord. Weary and tired. But Lord, just to be in the house last night in the room back then and feel the victory shouts and the, see the young people singing like that, Lord, and my God, with a free spirit and Lord, an anointing coming down, knowing how the critics criticize us because of jealousy. Then we hear back, they all have groups, all have singing groups now, all copying. Yes, Lord, and um, we thank you, Lord, for the musicians, Lord, and the singers and this morning uh, sister Lisa and all the singers Lord and how they sang we praise you for that amen and Lord to see uh, remember back how Joanne Lord with the inspiration up on how she fought and, and went and, and tried to mold these young people Lord into singers Lord amen and then at the right time you had your servant Paul come on the scene Lord and then uh, positionally put himself, you positionally put him there, Lord. And it was another season for her with her husband and so forth, Lord. So, Lord God, you order all things well. And how we thank God for every man in their position. So, Father, we pray now that this will be a new season for the people here. And my heart bleeds for different ones walking out, Lord, at such a time as this. And... Then I see uh, Brother Courtney coming here, a sign from 83. He was, you were calling him, Lord, and then you healed him miraculously, Lord. And then when the time came, he came in under the inspiration of another holy time coming, and he was identified. And then how he testified so beautifully Friday night to the young people. And he caught the inspiration against foolishness and jesting and all that, Lord. He knows it's a serious time. I appreciate that his remarks bless him lord amen praise god and his family lord and trevor and his wife and we pray for earl that you uh, clothe him in his right mind lord and errol uh, and sister uh, lord janet may you be with her in the hospital and the, and the mother and all be well almighty god now bless the elders and that stood the deacons ushers translators, all the helps and governments and all their wives. We appreciate all the help, Lord. We could not have done this without them. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Appreciate all those coming from Pennsylvania and upstate New York, Massachusetts, and downstate Jersey, Philadelphia, or anywhere they come from and coming to get here for driving hundreds of miles and coming, Lord, and so, Father, this third phase, they made it. And, Lord, may you bless them, Lord. And pour out the Holy Spirit today. Oh, I don't know, Lord. You can cut me off any time because I wanted to get this inspiration to them this season. So wherever you choose to cut me off, Lord, you just do it. Amen. So we Now, Father, I'm looking for healing in the pulpit. I got one before on November 17th, I also... You heal me, so I'm looking for you to heal uh, diabetes, Lord, and, and give me a new strength, Lord, and good health. Amen, and Lord, seal up my seven virtues. I'm looking for it, praise God. Amen. Now, Lord, bless the reading of the word and bless it to the hearts, to the hearers, to their souls, and may they keep it, not let any birds take it away when they go out the door. Strengthen me now, Father, for this little message to start off the third phase and may it not stop until every predestinated Caleb has been sealed away and may the family come in Lord family members come in husbands wayward husbands and wives or whoever they are that's what it's for he told me that a, a power will come on the earth a voice angel power amen so I can't say no more about it and Lord God, may that start here today. Praise God. And set these people free, Lord, from their miseries. We pray, Almighty God, and ask a blessing in Jesus' name.
Amen. You may be, you know, remain standing. You may open the word to St. Luke 21 and Revelation 8. Well, praise God. Everybody happy? Amen. Praise God. St. Luke 21. Okay, verse 8. And he said, Take heed that ye be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. And the time draweth near, go ye not therefore after them, but when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Then said he to them, A nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in divers places, and famines, and pestilences, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you, and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues. This already happened, of course, and will happen again. And to the prisons being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake, for my name's sake. And it shall turn to you for testimony. Sell it therefore in your hearts, not to meditate before what ye shall answer. We're coming down to this now. For I'll give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries should not be able to gainsay nor resist. Just switch over to verse 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, which means no way out. The sea and the waves roaring across the earth. Men's hearts failing them for fear. See, what's the fear? They're looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud, which we already seen. Amen. It's right above my head. With power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up. And lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. My God, how can they sit and sleep? And here's the cloud above me right here, and it came with the angels. <laughs> right in front of you is the sign. Amen. Revelation 8, 1. And when he opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven about the space of a half an hour. May God have a blessing in reading his word. You may be seated. Well, praise God. Okay, uh, put the motors in, uh, in, in one now. <laughs> Praise God. Yes, sir. Amen. Now I have a title, The Seventh Seal of Redemption. You better start reading your seventh seal book again. You better get back in the Word because it would be based on the Word. If you're not reading the books and hearing the tapes, I don't know where you, would, I don't know where you at, <laughs> where you would be at. Amen. Now my subject is the unsealing of the living testimony under the seventh seal. Amen. Now, um, he that is in you from Jeffersonville. Amen. On the page nine. Yes, sir. Page nine. Um, Paragraph 43, and while the harvest is ripe, and it is, and the labors are few, and there's hardly any, let's dig right into it, right now, by chance there might be a sinner sitting by, and here this morning, and up there and down there and here, you might be sitting here. Maybe your wife is here. Maybe your husband has been here. And you want to come. Well, this is your day. Hey, Amen. This is the beginning of the third phase to pull the family in. Glory to Dios. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. There might be someone that tonight, tonight, might change the whole course. And if it wasn't the time this morning, tonight might close the books. So don't come in there late. 
Somebody comes walking down the street and the book is shut. The last one come in. Here you come waddling down the street somewhere. Praise God. Be on your post. Be on time. Yes, sir. Amen. Remember, there will not be one more come in when their names are redeemed. Now understand what redeem means. It doesn't mean come in here and, and, and give your heart to the Lord and get baptized. That's not redeemed. Redeem in this season is when you have gone from faith all the way to charity and been fire baptized and adopted into the body, then you are fully redeemed. So I don't know how you can sit around on your laurels here, praise God. That's redeemed when the last one is redeemed, has received the fire baptism. Amen. So you got no time to stop. No time to fool around. This is your day. Amen. When the, the names. Now, everybody, listen real close. Before I read the scripture, all that ever would be redeemed, God put the name on the Lamb's book of life before the world ever came into creation. How many knows that? That's the scripture. And the Antichrist in the last days is going to be so close like the real thing, real church. Everybody just like Judas until it would deceive the very elected, if it were possible. Is that right? But no man can come to Jesus except God sends him. And all that God did give to him will come to him. That's why I see them go out. I said, well, God give it, they'll come. I'll pray for them. You pray for them, you don't know, see them around here. You pray for them. <laughs> Hallelujah, praise God. But I ain't going out begging, persuading nobody no more. Pray, come on, your mother's there, and your, and your daughter's there. Come on to church. Uh, no. Amen. My God, God's sons are called. Yes, sir. Is that right? No man comes to Jesus except God sends him. And all that God did give to him will come to him. And when he takes that book, that last name, that's it. See, all in Lutheran age, you pull them out. All in the Wesley age, he pull them out. All in the different ages, the Pentecostal, he pulls them out. They're over here, won't be judged with them. They are rapturing. And then when the last name comes out, I don't, maybe a little baby, I don't, we don't know who it is, that was put on the Lamb's Book of Life, that was slain before the foundation of the world, when that last name has been redeemed. See what I'm saying now? Redeemed all the way on this brass altar. Hear ye him. When you hear back, hear ye him, you know you're redeemed. It's over. You're overcome. Got a white stone. Got a new name. Shah. That should be enough encouragement, praise God, to last you until Wednesday. Praise God. And that last name has been redeemed. His work is finished. You mean that the Christ got some work to do? Brother Bram said so. Dove leading eagle. From where? From faith, the virgin, that's his work. Just come fresh. Amen. First he's way back in the mediatorial seat, splashing the blood. Then he tear off the seals to his prophet and gives the meat out, the food. Then he comes down in 1988 and leads the eagles, praise God, all the way from faith and virtue, knowledge, determination. That's his last work here. Praise God. Then they fully redeem with a fire baptism, praise God. Then he claims their bodies for the resurrection. Oh, hallelujah, my God. Amen. Then his work is finished. Watch, maybe seated. When that last name has been redeemed, I just explained to you, Dove Lee Eagle. Huh? Oh, you mean the dove that was, I mean, the dove that was Christ? Back at the mediatorial seat, and he came, advanced forward from eternity, and took the book out of the Father's hand in 1963, and tore off the seal and sent it down to the prophet. Then the prophet, and then he come in the prophet, son of man, and give out the word, and went into a book form and tapes. About the space of a half an hour, and a little bit later, it was feeding time. 
Brother Branham said it was relaxing time. That's what he said when he opened, it was relaxing time. Ain't nothing going to happen. Just keep eating those tapes. See? But then it comes a time when something is going to happen. Amen. Could it be today? Oh, hallelujah. My. When that last name has been redeemed, and, he, and the Redeemer, he, come on, Ruth. Boaz is here. Ruth, you ought to be rewarded. Oh, hallelujah. Ruth will be rewarded. And Ruth Russell said, that means me. Amen, Ruth. Sister Ruth, praise God. She had her eyes closed there thinking about herself. Amen. Praise God. That's right. Maybe seated. Praise God. His work is finished. Now watch. He switches. He comes forth to claim what he has redeemed. Oh, praise God. I'm laying it in here for you now. See, he comes forth to claim what he has redeemed. See, that makes a heart bleed. But if it went on a thousand years later now, there would not be one redeemed. After that last one is adopted, you can go right on. There'd be no more redeemed. Amen. And still go to church. And no one can, can be redeemed unless they were put on the Lamb's Book of Life before the foundation of the world. Who are they? I don't know. Nobody else knows, see? Just God alone. I'm trusting that every one of us, our names are on that book. If mine was on there, I'm sure to be there. If it wasn't, I won't be there. That's all. See, that's just up to God. It's not in him that willeth, him that runneth, but God that showeth mercy. Page 10. Yes, sir. Look, did you notice those people? He talked about Billy, uh, Billy Graham's meetings and them, you know? Running down the aisles, chewing, chewing gum, laughing, punching one another. And those, some come in here and get baptized. I don't see them no more. And then some, some uh, 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 um, uh, Christian workers in here pushing in relatives and different ones and shoving them down the aisle. I, I, I sit there and I stand and watch all that. And then they got baptized. Where are they at now? Praise God. Let God bring them. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Live a life in front of them. Amen. And then they come. Amen. Give them some spoken word book. And then browbeat them for about two hours. Tell them it's right. All self-righteous. Amen. I know what goes on. Come on, we. I've been around long enough to know. Amen. Just here to puff people up, brother. Get a lot of knowledge. Amen. As if they had the knowledge. Amen. Praise God. Yes, sir. My God. See, I done caught them spirits. Huh? Amen. Yes, sir. -y. Amen. See. Amen. Punch another. That's 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 not walking up between death and life. That's not sorry for sin and repentance. See? It's just what Billy said, B B Billy Graham. Making a decision. And a cold, dried eye decision is nothing. See, not a thing. You got to be sorry for sin. Hate yourself. And turn from it. And Billy himself said, proves that out of 30,000, you can't find 30 in a year. Said another day, what's the matter with New York? I'm reading this now. See, said the other day, what's the matter with New York? I had that great meeting there, and what happened? Sin's worse than it, than it ever was, and will continue to get worse. What's wrong with the New York church? Third pull, seven thunders, and all the anointings. And 1983 outpouring started here with Brother Robledo. What's wrong with New York? And you walking in and walking out, and in and out, and in and out. What's wrong with New York? Sin's worse than ever in this place here, praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There'll be no national repentance. The nation is gone. Just you individuals. And soon that'll be over with if it isn't already. Now you just mark that down, you young children. Hey, he's talking to young children now, see? Uh, see? See how far, Brother Branham, if it ain't Brother Branham, that what I've said is right or wrong sin will get worse and worse until one day the skies will catch on fire she'll fall to the earth and the earth will burn with fervent heat but the redeemed 
won't be here, then they'll be gone. And when the redeemed, my God, I won't be here, brother. I don't know about you. You can walk in and out if you want to, praise God. But Brother Cone will not be here. Yes, sir. -y. Now, amen. You may be seated. Say, I ain't worrying no more because I know what season this is. And now back in 1974, Sister Cole and I went out to Tucson, and we, we came back so depressed, and people followed me to the airport and said it's like a, a, a breath of fresh rain coming out here in the desert. <laughs> so if I said, well, what can I do? Amen. I came on back in January 74 with the family. We were going out there, and my wife was burdened. And she kept asking, well, what is wrong with those people there? Why they seem to be so dry and dead, you know? So on February 6th, we came home from service, 1974, Wednesday night. She was laying there. And then the voice in, so just was in her heart for about a, a month, I guess, yeah, in January, about two weeks. And it was in her heart. And then God has a way of answering what's in your heart when you get quiet and so forth at the right time. And the voice of God speaking to my wife. His voice spoke, see. They have preached six seals. The seventh seal is hid. That's what's wrong. Amen. Then in a heart, a still small voice come a revelation. But we have been feasting on the hidden manna under the seventh seal. Amen. Understand what thou hearest? That's the difference between New York City and elsewhere in the message. I hope it answers it. I hope you're satisfied finally to know the difference between New York City and elsewhere. We've been feasting on the hidden manna from Jacob Grace Joseph Perfection from 1964 right straight on through. Praise God. Hidden manna. Glory to God. And some loathe the manna. I hope you don't loathe the manna. Praise God. Amen. Well, we got it. But did you catch the revelation there? Like on the day of Pentecost, Peter said, Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. For remission of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now, that was God speaking through Peter. And many other words did he exhort that untoward generation. There must have been 500,000 Jews standing there on that day, but 3,000 in their heart, but you have been feasting on the hidden manna. So 500,000 heard Peter say, repent and be baptized. And the voice spoke. Amen. The voice spoke out. Praise God. They are preaching six seals. Seventh seal is hid. 500,000 people voice spoke to them. They don't know what. But 3,000 inside. Amen. A revelation come. Amen. So the Holy Spirit said, when you get to that third phase, don't worry about them. He said, predestinated Caleb's will get it on the inside. still a small voice. Amen. Well, hallelujah. I'm free. <laughs> Glory. Well, praise God. I'm about preaching out already. Amen. <laughs> Glory to Amen. Yes, sir. Oh, hallelujah. Glory. Yes, sir. You may be seated. The seventh seal of redemption. Amen. My subject, the unsealing of the living testimony under the seventh seal. What is the seventh seal? It's the claiming seal. Amen. It's the proven seal. It's your inheritance. It's your title deed. Amen. It's supreme authority. It's supreme control. It's authority. Amen. On the revelation of the seven seals, on the seven seal itself. Amen. Let me read it here to you. Uh, page 560. I'm coming back around to it now. And the Lord told me to go back to the seven seals, begin to study it Amen. on the third phase. Because now the eagles will get it. Hey, you preach it all out of season. Amen. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, sir. On page 560, he said, Now, uh, did you notice that one angel? I said there was a strange angel. He looked more to me than any of the rest of them. Do you remember that? They were in a constellation, three on one side and one on top. 
and the one right next to me, counting from left to right, would have been the seventh angel. He was brighter, more, uh, more so to me than the rest of them. You remember I said he had his chest stuck out, wings swept back, and he was flying eastward. You remember that there? It picked me up, lifted me up. Do you remember that? Here it is, the one with the seventh seal. The, the big, big one. He, he had the seventh seal. Amen? The thing that I wanted all my life, them other seals, the six, see, they are preaching six seals. The six of them, see, uh, meant a lot to me, of course. You don't know what this has meant. For one time in life, I prayed, I cried out to God. After the Phoenix meeting, any of the people there with me, I laid in the mountains. One morning, I got up and went up in Sabina Canyon, great rugged mountain, and went up there, and there was a little foot trail, and he goes on, what happened up there? You see? And so therefore, he says, um, here it is, one, the one with the uh, seventh seal. And on page uh, 564, he says, now, you notice, now, at for the end of time message, this seal, and remember, the, the next message, the vision said. Now, you got to tie this together, you eagles. Right? Now, remember, the next message will be dove leading eagle. And here's the prophet saying, I'm coming back over and recycling back. Amen. That, this would have been way out of season back in the 70s somewhere. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Yes, yes. Now notice, for the end of time message, this seal, after all, he's revealed all the six seals. But it don't say nothing about the seventh and the end time seal. When it starts, it'll be absolutely a total secret, according to the Bible, before knowing that, remember Revelation 10, 1 through 7, uh, at the end of the seventh angel's message, all the mysteries of God would be known. We at the end time, he said, all the mysteries of God, who God is, his name, and all like that would be finished with. See, the six seals would wipe all that out. Then he would come out for the seventh seal, the big angel with the swept back wings. And he would open that seventh seal. And that would be the end of time message. And now the only way we know to, to find out what would be the end of time message, then that message would be laying under the seventh seal. Amen. Correcto. Amen. Amen. All, all the message would be known. All about Jesus, Jesus' name, baptism, all these scruples that's all messed up with these uh, reformers be straightened out in those six seals. Amen. Amen. We at the end time, the opening of the seventh seal. Oh, praise God. But there would be a total secret, and it was. The prophet went and preached. It was a total secret. They didn't know what he said. Amen. So then on page 567, now notice, so help me, God, I tell the truth, that these are spiritually discerned to me, discerned by the Holy Spirit, and by every one of them, has identified his place in the Bible. Now, what this great secret is that lays beneath this seal, the seventh one, see, uh, I do not know. I don't know. It, I couldn't make it out. I couldn't tell just what it said. But I know that I was, that it was them seven thunders uttering themselves right close together. Could that be the next message? Dove leading eagle with the next message. Oh, I see the Caleb's is picking up a revelation. Exactly what the vision said. Next message, dove leading eagle. And the prophet said, I don't know. Maybe see it. Oh, my. Too much uh, prosperity for me. Stand up like that. I, I can't take it. Amen. My, I'm flabbergasted. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes, sir. Amen. My. Yes, sir. Couldn't make it out. Couldn't tell. See, I feel anointed from you to Caleb's now. My mind's blown. I, I used to preach this hair. I got blanks. I was firing blanks. My God, I feel something moving. Somebody know what they're talking about. Amen. Hallelujah. Why, praise God, you can be fire baptized. Glory to God. Amen. 
may be seated, but I know it was it was them seven thunders uttering themselves right close together, just banging seven different times and unfolding something else that I seen. And when I seen that, I looked for the interpretation that flew across there, and I couldn't make it out. That's exactly right. The hour isn't quite uh, yet for it, but it's moving into that cycle. It's coming up close. So the thing for you to do is remember that I speak to you in the name of the Lord. Be prepared for you don't know what time something can happen. Amen. Praise God. Just banging uh, right, right, right together. Bang, 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 bang seven times. My God. On page 575. I could be here for weeks on this, but I'm just uh, cutting the corners. Yeah. Just trying to, amen. Mm. My, something's happening today for sure. That's, yay. Amen. Now do you, on uh, page 575. Now, do you notice on the opening of the seventh seal, it is also in a threefold mystery? This one I have will speak and have spoke that it is the mystery of the seven thunders. The seven thunders in heaven will unfold this mystery. Now, he clearly tells them. Oh, he clearly tells them. He said, it opened, but not to the public. And on the anointed ones at the end time, can't you get it straight? I'm not the son of man. I'm a son of man revealing him to the public. Well, who's the thunders? He, he's son of man. <laughs> to the public. But then all these false guys come along in the mess and say, it's not open. It's closed. But a voice had to say, it's open. And withstand these spirits, praise God. And challenge these spirits in Europe and South Africa and South America. A voice, praise God. Amen. A revelation went forth already. Now we're ready for manifestation. Maybe they'll believe that. Maybe they'll believe me for the work's sake. If they don't believe me for the revelation's sake. Oh, hallelujah. You may be seated. Praise God. Seven thunders in heaven will unfold this mystery. It'll be right at the coming of Christ. Of course it would be. He's telling you right there to shout, voice, trump. Because in 1963, on Jesus on your hands, he said, now the seven seal is open. Just waiting for it to be identified to the coming of the Lord. So you got to understand the message. That was in 1963. And then June 14, 1964, come to the unveiling of the mighty God. The shout on the earth with what? The thunders. That's only the first fold of it. They saw it banging right down to that. Amen. No one would know, see, he, the, the coming of Christ, because Christ said no one would know when he would return. Did you notice when the Jews asked him that? You know, when we, we compared the scripture with Matthew 24 with the sixth seal, the seventh seal was left out because you see Christ said only God himself knew. Not even the angels, no wonder it wasn't even written. You see, they hush, nothing taking place then. Angels don't know it. Nobody knows when is he's coming, but they, now watch. They don't know when you're coming, but there'll be, there'll be, watch, seven voices of these thunders that will reveal the great revelation at that time. Amen. See, these seven mysterious voices will come at that time. Amen. And uh, praise God. And Brother Bram himself said on page 179 on the second seal, speaking about predestination, so, and so Arrhenius was one of the angels. Of the church ages, as we've seen, we've studied, we believe, of course, now, they were all mysteries. They were all hid right here in these seals. They were hid there. Well, sure they were, because Paul and Renius and Martin was hid under the first seal. And Columbus was hid under the second seal. Is that right? And Luther and Wesley were hid under the third seal. And Malachi 4 was hid under the seventh seal. I mean the fourth seal. 
I mean the fourth beast I was talking about. I mean, I was speaking about beasts there. The lion was Paul, Arrhenius, and Martin, and the ox was Columba, and the man was Luther and Wesley, and the eagle was Malachi 4. And they were in the seals. And they were all mysteries. They were all hidden right here in these seals. And they are to be revealed in the last days. Now they started off with Paul and Arrhenius and Martin and so forth and come on down to the last age. And there will be seven voices of these thunders. They that will reveal the great revelation at that time. Well, praise God. They, amen. So now Malachi 4, 7th on the message was a revelation of the mysteries. And a 7th on the revelation gives us the authority, absolute faith authority, to claim our inheritance, which is our redemptive rights. Then the devils and these ministers and people in this message try to take away your redemptive rights. And there's no devil going to take it from me. I don't care where they come from. I don't care where they come from, Jeffersonville, Tucson, Pennsylvania, they are not taking my redemptive rights. I'm going to, if that prophet said, seven thunders give faith, I'm going to say it. And they're not going to tell me I cannot say it, praise God. Amen. That's what it's all been about. The devil's trying to stop you from saying it. The devil's trying to tear up New York City, trying to choke you up. Praise God, but we're free. Hallelujah, we're on the third phase. The dove is leading the eagle. Praise God, amen. Amen. They are preaching six seals. The seventh seal is hid. Glory. Amen. Glory. Amen, Brother Hunt. Praise God. Yes, sir. My God, praise God, 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 God be praised. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory to God. God, the fire is all over this place here. Anybody can be sealed. Praise God. You don't have to wait for nothing while Peter yet spake these words. Praise God. The Holy Ghost fell upon them as they heard the word. Glory to God. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God. Amen. You may be seated. The seventh and the revelation gives us authority. That's why I say you got, you, you, who gave you all that authority? A seventh thunder revelation give you authority to stand in their face. Praise God. Absolute faith authority to do what? To claim our inheritance, which is our redemptive rights as revealed by the Lamb to Malachi 4 for his message. Malachi 4's message itself is a message of our redemptive rights, how we are to be redeemed back to Adam. We ought to go back and let no devil stop us because we are predestinated. Our names are in the land's book of life. Praise God. Nobody can take it out of there. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God. Amen. Every name in the book shall be sealed. Amen. Lord God, praise God. Praise God. Lord God, fill my brother up, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory to God. Praise God. The fire is here. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Oh, praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory. Close your eyes. Praise God. Talk to the Lord. Say, Lord, seal me now, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, praise God. The fire baptism is here. Glory to God. Don't look at me. Pray, look at him. Glory. Oh, hallelujah, praise God. Yes, sir, Courtney, God's blessing you back. The devil trying to discourage you. 
Praise God. Now God has blessed you. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Yay, 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 yay. Yay, say it, the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Glory. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. God be praised. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Praise God. Oh, my, 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 my. Woo. Praise God. Glory. He's here. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, glory. 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 This is the third phase. Come on, you Caleb's. Amen, John. Praise God. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. Ooh, yeah. amen. Praise God. Yes, sir. Glory to God. Seal him away, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Come on, you Caleb's. You're predestinated. Praise God. You eagles to receive the fire baptism of the Holy Ghost to give you a revelation to claim your inheritance as revealed by the seven angels of the seven church ages in the Malachi for light to become adopted sons and daughters of God so saith the Lord God Almighty hallelujah praise God the fire is here the third phase has been identified hallelujah praise what is it hallelujah glory to God glory 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 a seed has come to you to bring forth a manifestation of the dynamics to your mechanics a real fire baptism here it is hallelujah lord god refill joanne glory what is god trying to do he's trying to seal up your box car the believers are now being filled with the seventh thunder revelation this revelation will load up your box car the seventh seal of redemption. The believers are sealed with the revelation of the first fold of the seventh seal, which is the seven thunders. Malachi 4 clearly said at the first fold of the threefold seal was uttering of the thunders. Then you can find a place, praise God. And you found a place. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory. When that seventh seal of redemption is finally open to the public, what happens? The mystery of God as sealed in these mystery seals is finished. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. God be praised. Glory to God. Amen. The seventh seal is being broken. The unsealing of the living testimony under the seventh seal. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. That's when adopted sons of God step forward and reveal the content seal up under the seventh seal which is the seven living voices of thunder the manifestation of the sons of God will reveal the contents under the seventh seal they shall be a total and a full redemption by Christ this is a hidden mystery only to be understood by the unsealing of the living testimony under the seventh seal oh thank God hallelujah praise God the third phase is here just think bride of Christ we're here hey glory hallelujah the ark of testimony which contained the living testimony was revealed by Malachi for as the word of God and the presence of the divine ark is the life of the virgin bride therefore the ark of testimony which contains the living testimony is in New York City hallelujah praise God hallelujah glory Yay! Praise God! Amen! God is sealing His people. God is pouring out the Holy Spirit. The bride will be brought forth on the third phase 
sealed with the mark of divine authority and brought forth after the flesh endowed with the seven spirits of God which is the seven seal of redemption coming forth to claim his brand by a fire baptism to claim her body for the resurrection we are redeemed now raise your hands and praise them we are redeemed but now he's here as the dove to claim your spirit to claim your body for the resurrection and then it will take total possession come on musicians praise God the Holy Spirit is here I can't preach no more amen God wants to seal the people glory to God oh hallelujah praise God yes sir oh, oh. glory amen hallelujah he's here praise God glory to God glory 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 he's here now oh people are being sealed people are being refilled this is deliverance tonight may the Holy Spirit pour out the same way amen brother junior praise God amen it's here the third phase is here, the seventh seal of redemption. He's here to claim your spirit, claim your body. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Redeem means to bring back. You were there before the foundation of the world, and now he's come down here to redeem you. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord God, I ask for my healing now, Lord. Father, may this diabetic devil Father, may you heal me from the top of my head to the bottom of the soles of my feet. Praise God. Lord God, may fire go through me now. May you seal up my seven virtues. Oh, hallelujah. Praise, praise, praise. Shut, shut. Shut. Yuck, 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 yuck. Yay, yay. Glory, glory. Glory to God. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Praise. God, thank you, Jesus. Praise him, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Come on now. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lamb of God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, blessed be his name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, dear God, for your outpouring tonight. Thank you, dear God, for your presence, Lord, here among us, Lord, this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Ghost. Thank you, dear God, for my healing. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise his name, praise his name, praise his name. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Praise the name of Jesus, praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, blessed be his name. Blessed be his name. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, my. Somebody's praying, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Somebody's praying, Lord, come by here. Somebody's praying, Lord, come by here. Somebody's praying, Lord, come by here. Desperate Lord, come by here. Oh Lord, come by here. Oh, somebody is praying. Hallelujah. Glory. Come by here. Somebody pray, Lord. Come by. Shouting, Lord, come by here. Somebody shouting, Lord, come by here. Somebody shouting, Lord, come by here. Oh, Lord, come by here. Glory! Yes! Glory! Yes! Glory! Yes. 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 Hallelujah! Glory! 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 God, praise God. Because you know you've been redeemed. Hallelujah! You know you've been redeemed. 
Hallelujah. And when the person knows that they're redeemed, they cannot stand still. They cannot stand still. They cannot stand still anymore. You know you've been redeemed. Hallelujah. You're dancing under the seventh seal. When he opened the seventh seal, there you was dancing. There you was shouting. There you was praising God. Hallelujah. Glory. My God. My, 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 my. My God. Oh. This is Jubilee. There's never been a day like this day. No, 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 no. Never been a day like this day. This day is different. Hallelujah. This day you're free. This day you're in the spirit. John was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Glory to God. Oh, my Lord. Oh, I waited for this a long time. But I don't have to wait anymore. Lord God, because I know you're here. I know you're here to seal me. I know you're here to fill me. Lord God, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Glory. Glory. Mm-hmm. Glory to God. Devil, look at the victory. Devil, amen. If you can, look over here. Look at you. Look at God's people shout. Look at God's people that you thought you had bound. Just look at here, Satan. Look at here, Satan. Just look. Take a peek. Hallelujah. The devil's defeated. Amen. Take a look, devil. Take a look, devil. God's people are redeemed. My God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Mama, 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 ma. hallelujah. Glory! The Holy Spirit's in control now. He's in control now, hallelujah. Amen. Anything can happen if you want the Holy Ghost. Just get in the Spirit. If you want the Holy Ghost, just get in the Spirit. If you need a healing, just get in the Spirit. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is passing by. Glory. So 
Somebody's praying, Lord. Somebody's praying, Lord. Oh, now give the Lord a hand of praise and worship. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the victory, dear God, this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, blessed be his holy name. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. What can we say? Are you free? Hallelujah, hallelujah. I didn't ask you if you feel free. I ask you if you're free. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Some didn't let the redeemed say so. Hallelujah, amen. I feel such victory in the camp this morning that I've never felt. Hallelujah. I feel that the dead can be raised up. Amen. I feel that the cripples can walk and the blind can see. Amen. I feel that the Holy Ghost is upon me. Amen. Hallelujah. Another day of Pentecost. Amen. Glory to God. Glory be to God. Amen. 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 When you come to church this morning, man, perhaps the devil said you'll never shout, you'll never, but devil, take a peek at it. Take a peek if you can, amen. God's people is free. Hallelujah. You know why? Because you know that you have been redeemed. Amen, amen. In the beginning of the service, amen, Brother Coleman said the Caleb's are to arise, amen, with a new commission to possess their land and put fire into services. Caleb, I feel that you have caught that revelation. There's no devil that can bind you anymore. You have a commission to possess the land. You have a commission to defeat the enemy. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. What can we say? What a message. I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to run, whether to shout, whether to cry. I guess I'll do it all. Hallelujah. My Lord, my God. The devil fought and fought and fought and fought you to get to the third phase, but it's been officially identified here this morning. Brother Coleman said we're forgetting about that second phase and pampering spirit, brother. What a way to start the third phase. Oh, my God. What a way to start the third phase. Hallelujah. You started on the right foot. Amen. You have your, your foot on the devil's head. What a way to start. What a way to start. What a way to start. Think of what it's going to be like, amen, when your mama comes, when your papa comes, when your children come. Think of it. What a way to start. <laughs> Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Oh, my, my, my. And talking about the seventh seal, amen, being revealed. Do you realize why you're jumping and shouting this morning? Because under the seventh seal, there was some predestinated Caleb. And this service could not have closed, amen, with it being dead. Because when the seventh seal was pulled back, there were some Caleb's under the seventh seal. And they wasn't sitting around like this. No, no, no. They were shouting. They were praising God. You have to act that way. You have to act that way. Glory to God. Amen. So it's perfectly in order this morning. Church order in full control. This is heavenly church order. The same kind of order that was, amen, when John was in the spirit, in the Lord's day. 
shouted and praised God after he saw his name, amen, written under that book. And that there was a lamb that could step forward, amen, to redeem him. What a way to climax a message, amen. To realize, friends, that you've been redeemed. Amen. To realize, friends, that your name is written, amen, under that seal. Amen. And Brother Coma was saying that the seventh thunder revelation gives you faith authority. Faith authority. Hallelujah. I feel such a renewed. This is a, a different kind of faith this morning. It's not, it's not just believe, I believe, but a faith authority. That you can walk out of here and, and face the devil, amen, in every one of his tricks. You're going to defeat him throughout the week. Mind battle is going to be defeated. Amen. Trials are going to be defeated. Depression is going to be defeated. Because you have a new faith authority. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Let's sing another chorus and I'll let you go, I promise. I'm going up. I'm going up in the first resurrection. I'll, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go up. And I want you to turn around and tell somebody that you're going up. Oh, I'm going up. I'm going up. I'm going up in the first resurrection. I'm going up. I'm going up. I'm going up with the Lord. They'll be coming from the east. Coming from the west, coming from the north, and they'll be coming from the south. But I'm going up, I'm going up, I'm going up with the Lord. I said, I'm going up, I'm going up, I'm going up in the first resurrection. Oh, I'm We're going up, we are going up, we're going up with the Lord, oh, I'm going up, I'm going up, I'm going up in the first resurrection. Doesn't it make you feel happy? Doesn't it make you feel glad? The devil says you're staying here. No, devil, I'm going up. Devil, I'm going up. Hallelujah. Glory. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Lord, hallelujah.
Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Yes, yes, glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, we thank you, Father, for your presence, Lord, here this morning. Truly, dear God, we could say, Father, that our hearts has been blessed. Father, our spirits has been blessed. Father, you, we have heard directly from the throne of mercy. Father, truly, dear God, that seventh seal has been broken, Father God. Oh, Lord, and you had names under that seal, Father. Some redeemed names, dear God, and here we stand this morning expressing that joy, Father God, the joy of redemption, Father. Truly, dear God, you are a wonderful God, and, and how you've blessed us here this morning, Father. Truly, dear God, your servant preached a masterpiece here this morning. Dear God, we pray that you would bless him a hundredfold dear God and may you renew his strength dear God and we truly believe dear God that you touch his body this morning father God hallelujah of every diabetic devil father I believe you gave him a touch this morning hallelujah oh God I many many man oh Lord may you continue to bless him Lord and strengthen his tired weary body father and may you bless him a hundredfold Lord God as we dismiss from this place Lord but not from this presence dear God may you linger with us Lord throughout the day Lord and may you be with us Lord in our love feast dear God as we go home Father God, may your presence, dear God, be felt. Amen. May it ripple out throughout the day, dear God. Your, your, your ripples of blessings, Father. Wave after wave throughout the day, Father. May your spirit be felt, Lord. May you bless your people, Father, and give them traveling mercies, dear God. Thank you once again for this mighty outpouring, Lord. Thank you, dear God, for the deliverance, Lord, in our midst, Father. Lord, truly, dear God, many were delivered and many were, were perhaps sealed, Lord, this morning. Father God, may we hear about it, Lord, through, through the testimonies, dear God, that will come forth, Father. May you bless your people and be with them. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. You may be seated. Just a few announcements before you dismiss. There's a choir meeting immediately after the service in the balcony. A choir meeting uh, immediately after the service in the balcony also those that did not purchase or did not get a chance to put your name in for the uh, videotape the concert tape it'll be on sale immediately after the service in the library uh, once again the videotape is $25 and the audio cassette tape is being sold for $10 and you may uh, purchase it immediately after the service in the ba uh, in the uh, basement in the library also we're not just collecting names we're collecting the money as well so therefore when you give your your name you have to uh, you know pay for the video and it'll be used to purchase videos and so forth and get the the copy and uh, started so again if you ordered yesterday and just gave your name without giving money uh, you can go to the library after the service and give your money also may the Lord bless you